Hi everybody. Welcome, welcome. My name is Lauren. I am so excited to be starting our live reading session today. If you are just jumping on, go ahead and write your name and say where you are watching from. I'll give uh, just a few minutes for people to join. I see some people hopping on. Hello. Say hello, say hello. Awesome, awesome. Let me wave at some people. Hello, hello. Hi guys, hi guys, welcome, welcome. Lakita, hello, hello. Hi, how are you? Hi Hugo, hi Ellen. Hi, Chelsea from Charlotte. Hello. So I'm so happy you guys are here. I'm so excited for this. I hope you guys are excited for this. And just know we will be here starting today every Tuesday at 7 p.m. We're going to have some time to just hang together and read some really cool stories. And I'm really excited about today's story that is called I Am Purpose. It is such a good one. But before we get into that, I wanna let you know about what these live reading sessions are. So just by participating, you guys have a chance to win some really, really cool prizes, okay? So by participating, if you are Charlotte-based, you have a chance to win free basketball training sessions. Amazing, it is so cool. If you are not, if you are not Charlotte-based, don't worry because you have the chance to enter into our end of summer drawing. Now with that, Two students will be receiving $100 gift cards each, and two special teachers will also be receiving $100 gift cards each. And that will be going towards school supplies. So that is really, really cool. Um, if you know a Charlotte-based teacher and you would like to nominate them for this, go ahead, you can leave their name in the comments or you can send us a DM on our social media platforms and we can go ahead and enter them into that. Um, so by participating, you will be asked to answer two questions each week for the reading that we're doing, and you can either DM us the answers or you can put them here in the comments as well. And just so you know, every week a student, uh, every week a student participates, they get their name entered five times. So that means you have a really good chance of winning, okay? I apologize, let me just fix my mic. All right, there we go. Watching from Steel Creek. Well, hello, thank you for being here with us. Okay, so let's get into it, shall we? So our book we are reading today is called I Am Purpose, and it's written by Aisha Ragsdale. So here's a little bit about the book. I Am Purpose is a fictional children's book that uses nature to share in the journey of a seed, purpose, in hopes of becoming a tree. Purpose must navigate his way while expressing emotions in a manner that teaches children to do the same. In addition to helping children develop and expand their emotional vocabulary, I Am Purpose illustrates how to persevere until the end. It is such a good book. I'm so excited for you to hear it. Are you excited? If you're excited, give me some hearts, because I'm excited. Here we go. Let's start this. <laughs> I Am Purpose by Aisha Ragsdale. This is dedicated to every person who has ever had their dream delayed or denied. Dream again, purpose always prevails. Frustrated, overwhelmed, and ashamed were all the feelings inside of purpose as he thought about his desire to become a tree. Purpose was a tiny little seed, but had big dreams of becoming a tree. So Purpose set out on his journey to become a tree. Along the way, Purpose met a breeze. Hi, my name is Purpose and I'm just a seed. The wind saw Purpose and introduced himself right away. Hi Purpose, I'm Mr. Wynn, nice to meet you. Mr. Wynn took a closer look at Purpose and asked, why do you look so dismayed? Purpose let out a sigh and said, 
I'm a tiny seed. I want to grow big and strong. I want to be what I was born to become. Mr. Wind said, what is that? Purpose responded, a tree that can make clean air with branches, that can give shade, and a safe place for children and animals to play. That sounds great, but you're too little. You can run into a wind that's not as nice as me, and it could blow you away. Maybe even to lands unknown. This world is dangerous. Play it safe. Purpose was discouraged. He spent the day playing Mr. Wind's words in his mind, and Purpose became sad when he thought about how easy others had it, and he started believing he would never become a tree. Purpose delayed his journey as he sat in the same spot as yesterday. His good friend Flower came along calling out his name. Hey, old friend! For a moment, when Purpose saw Flower, he felt hopeful. He gazed at her pretty petals, her long stem, and most importantly, her confidence. Hey, Flower, how are you? Purpose, why do you look so sad? Purpose told Flower the conversation he had with Mr. Wind, and Flower became concerned. I agree with Mr. Wind. I don't want anything to happen to you. Just be a flower like me and we can hang out all day and play. Flowers are pretty and everyone loves and admires us. You will never be alone again, Flower said. The more Purpose thought about this idea, the better it sounded. And Purpose questioned why becoming a tree was so important. Becoming a flower sounded so much better and being a tree would be too hard. As the days went by, his excitement started to fade. Flower noticed and asked what was wrong. Purpose felt bad and told Flower the truth. Flower, I thought that I would be happy being a flower, but it's just not me. Flower felt sorry, but didn't know what to do. She tried to convince him that being a flower was great. But Purpose said, it's just not me. I'm supposed to be a tree. I just don't know how to become a tree. Purpose remained unsure of what to do next. And Purpose wanted to be free and tall, yet in his little state, he felt bored and unhappy. The more Purpose thought about it, the more he believed becoming a tree was just too hard. Purpose fell asleep dreaming about all of the great things that trees do. As much as Purpose wanted to give up on becoming a tree, something on the inside of him just wouldn't let him do it. Purpose was awakened by large raindrops. Hey, what's going on? Purpose asked. A voice responded. Sorry, Purpose, I'm just doing my job. I have to come or else you and Flower won't grow. Purpose felt angry and betrayed. Flower didn't tell me I had to get wet. She said for me to sit here and be beautiful. No one told me about you. And how do you know my name? The voice responded, My name is Rain, and I was sent to make you grow. I understand how you feel. I too once felt like you until I met the sun. Everyone hated me, and sometimes I think they still do. The kids don't like me. The flowers, fruits, and vegetables say I hurt them with my big, heavy drops. And even the insects don't come out to play when I'm around. I tried to hide and run away until I met the sun. One day, I met the sun, and he changed my life forever. He brightened my day and encouraged me to keep going. He reminded me that I am special and unique with a specific job to do. I help things grow. I help produce life. I don't have a lot of friends, but I'm strong and confident in who I am. One day, you will be too. Purpose asked, how? Who is the sun? 
Where can I find him? Rain told Purpose, you'll see him tomorrow. And when he shows up, tell him I sent you. He'll know what to do. Thank you, Mr. Rain. That night, Purpose went to bed thinking about what Rain said. Is it really possible that my dreams can come true? Maybe wind and flower were wrong. Maybe, just maybe. Purpose tossed and turned all night. Purpose was jumping up and down with excitement and he thought more and more about becoming a tree. Morning couldn't come fast enough. Morning came. Purpose was up bright and early and he wondered what the sun would talk about. What question, what question should Purpose ask the sun? What advice would the sun give Purpose? As soon as Purpose saw the sun, he said, Mr. Sun, Mr. Sun, you're my last hope. Can you help me become a tree? The sun looked at Purpose and lovingly smiled. Purpose, you don't need me. You already have everything you need inside of you to become a tree. Only believe in you. Purpose felt overwhelmed and started to tell the sun what everyone else said, but the sun wouldn't let him. No one can stop what's already happening and what's on the inside of you must come out. Purpose was stunned by Mr. Sun's response. Purpose stood there taller and stronger than ever. And Mr. Sun held a mirror showing his unique reflection Purpose cried tears of joy because the image in the mirror was a growing tree. Suddenly, it all made sense. Mr. Wind, flower, rain, sun, they helped purpose prevail. Wisdom and knowledge, friendship and challenges, growth and connection placed him right where he needed to be. Mr. Sun affirmed purpose and called the tree into being. Purpose did not realize it, but he had evolved into a tree. At first, Purpose was willing to blend in with the flower and avoid danger from the wind. And after enduring the pain of rain, he stood tall as a tree. In the days to come, squirrels and birds built their homes on Purpose's branches and kids played around the tree. Purpose became a tree and was finally fulfilled. Despite what everyone said, purpose prevailed. And regardless of who believed, purpose grew. And when others doubted, purpose became a tree. And purpose proudly shouted, I am purpose. And that is the end that was such a good book. Such a beautiful story, isn't it, Marcella? I thought it was such a great book. It kind of just reminds us to stay faithful and to keep going no matter what anyone says about you. We all have something so special and unique inside of us. And life is all about the journey to find out what that is. And not everyone's path looks the same, but just keep going and believe in yourself. So it is so awesome. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Let me know if you did. Um, I just want to thank the author, Aisha. What's her name again? Where are you, Aisha? Last name. What is your last name? Aisha Ragsdale. Thank you, Aisha Ragsdale, for allowing us to read this book. If you guys are interested um, on getting this book, you can find it on Amazon. Again, it is called I Am Purpose. And um, just a reminder, if you guys wanna participate, be here every Tuesday at 7 p.m. If you are in the Charlotte area, you have a chance at winning free basketball training sessions. And if you're not from the Charlotte area, don't worry, you have a chance to be in our end of summer drawing where two students are going to win $100 gift cards each and two special teachers are gonna get $100 gift cards each. And that will be used towards school supplies, so that's really cool. Again, if you want to nominate a Charlotte-based teacher, let us know. You can write your comment. You can write their name in the comments here on our posts or just send us a DM. That's probably easier. 
and we can go ahead and put their name in. Um, if you're here every week, you get five entries. Five. That's a lot of entries. So you have a really great chance of winning. Um, also, we have a podcast. So be sure to check it out. It's called Work, Train, Win. It's a motivational podcast for student athletes. You're going to hear some great inspiration and wisdom um, from people from all professions, um, coaches, high school and college coaches, professional ball players, doctors, nutritionists, so much more. And they're going to be sharing advice on sports and school and career goals. So you're going to get a whole lot of knowledge and really awesome advice. And you can find our Work, Train, Win podcast on Apple or Google, Spotify, and Stitcher. So thank you guys so much for being here. I had such an amazing time. I truly love that story. I think I'm going to go read it to my kids now. It's just so awesome. So thank you for being here. Make sure to be here again next week, Tuesday at 7 p.m. And I'll see you guys next week. Have an amazing night, guys. Bye.